Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in this video, we will start with Cypress setup and now you can use that with uh, Meloso. So without further ado, let's get right into it. My ID of choice as usual is Visual Studio Code. So <clears throat> You can watch one of my videos on how to install Visual Studio Code both on a Mac system and on a Windows system. I have that video in my previous playlist so you can look up through that and find it. So here we are going to create a folder where we are going to have all this repository. So I will probably just call this folder Cy Cypress Mail or so. Okay. And um open that and um, we are ready to go so the next thing I'm just going to do is just um, open the terminal right here <coughs> in this window and what I will do next is um, create a package.json file we have done this several times in all the Cypress videos so this shouldn't be new to you so there we have it and uh, we quickly install two dependencies this time around we are going to install cypress we are going to install cypress melosor okay <coughs> so let's wait for that So once this is done, what I'll do is um, I will quickly open the Cypress runner so I can have all other config files so that I can um, make sure that I can probably properly connect this Cypress Minnesota dependency with uh, Cypress so that Cypress can recognize it by importing it into the command file inside the um, support folder so i will do that by saying let me just quickly by typing this in let me quickly open it with the e2e -E flag attached because what we, are, what we want to do is under e2e -E. so this is going to load up the cypress runner okay i'll just quickly do this and um i don't need to get to the e2e -E part yet so now it has the support folder so i can go here and um, anywhere i feel like right here i can just put imports so so now cypress Melosor can be recognized cypress so the next thing that we want to do is start setting up all the other parts so i will just do one thing here I will create an additional folder which will be for the e2e okay and i'll add a file into it which would serve for our test so i would say um, um let me call it melos melos for email dot um as usual the best practice the spec dot js okay so i have this all created so we can come back in the next video because i don't want it to be cumbersome i want to be able i want you to be able to follow it through easily so in the next video what we'll do is um we will show you i will show you how you can now start writing all the scripts and connect all those things that i said in the previous video in the previous video that we are going to copy we are going to copy them from the middle source site and we are going to add them here where we are going to put them and all of that we will do in the next video so right now the additional thing I, I can do is probably just um oh this shouldn't be here so let me just start the e2e since i've created the e2e file i should have an e2e already started and um we can stop it all there 
okay yes so all this is done so if you've gotten this part we just want to take it very easy we want to take it nice and easy so you understand every step so if you've gotten this far please do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye